so that was interesting <laughs> besties so for today's video we're going to be talking about my experience trying to sell clothes at buffalo exchange buffalo exchange is a secondhand thrift store that can buy clothes from you i believe most of their clothes are sourced and put on their sales floor through purchasing from sellers and a seller can be anyone it could be me it could be someone who professionally sells clothes anyone can sell clothes at buffalo exchange on the website it says that they take clothes any time of the year any season no appointment needed it makes it seem like it's a very easy process and that they're willing to take clothes whenever it's definitely based on the season and based on what's trending so if you don't bring in things that are currently trending or within the season they're probably not gonna buy anything from you. It also could be just the exchange that I go to. Maybe it varies store from store, so I don't wanna put a blanket statement over every Buffalo exchange, but the one that I go to is pretty picky. <laughs> I hate to say it, but they are picky. They are picky. So why would you wanna sell at Buffalo exchange? For me, there's two ways to sell. You can either sell on an app like Depop or Mercari or Poshmark where you're likely to get more money, but it's a lot more work. You have to take pictures of the clothes, make sure they look good in the photos, maybe even have to model them, tag them, make a price, ship them. It's a lot more personal, individual responsibility versus going to a thrift store where they have people who sift through the clothes and they tell you what they think it's worth and then they just give you money for it. The only catch is if you're going through a thrift store, you're getting about at most 25% of what they're going to sell it for, which is what Buffalo Exchange does. You're not going to get what you might think it's worth, but if you just want to get it off of your hands and make something off of it, this is perfect. The clothes that I brought are clothes that either don't fit anymore or I've just outgrown them. Uh, personally not physically that too but <laughs> it's just not my personal style anymore and now I'm gonna show you guys every piece of clothing that I brought to try and sell and then show you what it was like to go inside of Buffalo Exchange so here it is
for the moment we've all been waiting for. How much money did they give me and how many things did they take? Drum roll, please. They took two things. They took two things out of everything that I brought that I was like, in my head I was like, they're gonna be so impressed by my closet because I am so fashionable. And they took two things. And then you're probably wondering, how much did you get for those two things? Eight dollars. Eight dollars and 15 cents, actually, let me clarify. Eight dollars and 15 cents, which has happened to me before there. I kind of go into it every time I try to sell things there with, they're either gonna love everything or I'm gonna leave with chump change. I will say though, I have left with nothing. So better to have $8 than no dollars. They did offer either $8.15 in cash or $16.30 in store credit. They either offer the money or double that store credit, which is a little, you know, they're trying to get the money back into the store and you usually never spend the exact amount. You always have to go at least a little over with the store credit, so you still end up spending money back at Buffalo Exchange. But they're still a business and they have to make money, so fine. I tried really hard to find something in the 16, even $17 range. So you know what, maybe I won't leave with money, but I'll leave with something cute. Eh, wrong answer. I feel so bad. I don't want this video to be negative or overly negative, but sometimes this is just what happens with thrifting. You end up not getting what you're looking for or nothing at all. That's just the reality of secondhand shopping. So I tried really hard to find something that fit and was cute. It wasn't happening. Maybe it's just the Buffalo Exchange that I went to, but their large, extra large and extended sizing was awful. If you were an extra small or a small, Go ham. So much cute stuff, so much variety. But if you're large and up, there was hardly anything, which was pretty disappointing. I'm not sure if that's because the store doesn't take those items as often, if it's because they just don't have access to that clothing, it's not sold to them. And then when I did find things that were in my size, they weren't exactly things that I would wear. I think maybe shared experience is when you do find something that fits, you're just so grateful that you find something that fits that you just want it, even if it doesn't make sense for you. So I kind of experienced a little bit of that. I spent about an hour searching through the store and I'll include clips right now of me in the dressing room kind of mulling over, oh, do I really need this? Will this fit? No, it won't. I'll show you right now. Okay, so here's where I'm at right now. Look at this These three, there's just oh, no way that they're gonna fit. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful, but they're not gonna fit these ones though this dress is so beautiful urban outfitters but the thing is these cups when you put it on they stick out one they're way too small for my boobs two they have this weird like triangle thing and it doesn't look nice this one is nice i'm just not too crazy about the pattern i feel like i already have something too similar and then this one is so pretty but my butt sticks out <sighs> It can sometimes feel like when you're in the store and you see all these other people shopping and being able to find things that are cute, that they look good in, you just wanna be a part of that. However, that could lead to you getting something that you don't even really like that much and you're kind of just convincing yourself you like it because you just don't wanna leave empty handed. You wanna be part of that feeling. Maybe that's just me, but I have a feeling it's not. I would hate and that this has happened before. That feeling when you get into your car and you look at the bag next to you and you're like, why did I get that? <laughs> now I have something that's probably gonna end up in the donate pile again in the next six months. Now that's worse than leaving with nothing in the long run. But that's another thing too, to turn a, maybe what could be perceived as a negative into a positive, which is having the willpower to say, 
there's just nothing for me. I'm $8 richer than I was before and I got rid of two pieces of clothing that don't serve me. Speaking of which, the two pieces of clothing that they did take was a dress and a tank top. I will include pictures or uh, clips of them from earlier. My typical routine is that whatever is not taken at Buffalo Exchange, I take to Savers. Love Savers, I love Savers. I used to work there. <laughs> they actually give their employees really great discounts. I quit after a week. But that's besides the point. <laughs> that's way besides the point. Anything that can't be sold gets donated to shelters, given to places around the world where they need clothing for children, women, men. It's, it's amazing what they do with their clothing that they don't put on the sales floor. So anything that I can't get money for, I typically give it to savers. And they usually give you a 20% discount on your next purchase. This time around, I'm gonna have to really sift through what I have because I'm still kind of in that mindset of but some of these I don't wanna give away for free. I really wanna make some money off of them. So who knows? Maybe I'll post them on Mercari. Maybe I'll do a garage sale, sell them for like even four or five dollars each, whatever. But as long as I make something back. That concludes this video. I hope that this was very informative. I hope you guys got something out of this or if anything, just enjoyed the story. <laughs> but yeah, that does it for this video. Hope you guys had a good time and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.